In this video, I'll teach you how to perform independent t-test in SPSS. If you want to compare the means between two unrelated groups, then this can be a good statistical choice. However, you must follow several assumptions before conducting this test. The first, is, the first assumption is the dependent variable should be measured on a continuous scale. That would mean your dv must be in a form of interval or ratio level. Second, your independent variable should consist of two categorical independent groups, such as, for example, sex, which is categorized by male and female. Third, there should be independence of observation. There must be different participants in each group with no participant being in more than one group. The fourth is that there should be no significant outliers. Outliers are extreme scores which do not follow the usual pattern. The last is that the dependent variable should be approximately normally distributed for each group of the independent variable. So for example, we have this research question. Is there a significant difference in the overall satisfaction of parents in school services when grouped according to sex? Our DV here is the overall satisfaction, which is measured in a form of overall mean score. So that would mean that it is a continuous variable. Our independent variable is sex, which is categorized into two groups. We have male and female. So let's have an actual application in SPSS. We go to SPSS. We have here the variables. Let's click the variable view. The sex is the independent variable with two groups. The values, we have zero for male and one for female. On the other hand, the dependent variable is the overall satisfaction, which is a mean score, so that's a continuous scale. So let's go back to the data view. Here are the data of the study. There are 30 participants or respondents of the study. So to perform t-test, we click analyze, then compare means, then find the ind independent sample t-test. Click that one. Now you place sex in the grouping variable sex in the grouping variable you define the groups based on the values that you have created in the variable view so group one is zero then group two is one and click continue you place the overall satisfaction your dv in the test variable and then you click ok so you will be directed to the output view the first table is the descriptive statistics in each of the group. So you can see here that the overall satisfaction of male has a mean of 4.61 and the overall satisfaction of female parent is um, 1.54. But is there a significant difference between the two groups? Then we have to go to the next table. So in the next table, you can have first this column, the Levine's test for equality of variances. If the Levine's test is not significant, meaning uh, the p-value or the sig is above 0 0.05, then you will use this row, the equal variances assumed. If the Levine's test is significant, meaning the p-value or the sig is equal or less than 0 0.05, then we will use this row, equal variances not assumed. So since our Levine's test is 0 0.408, which is above 0 0.05, then we will use these values, the T, the T value, the DF, which is the degrees of freedom, and the SIG, which is the P value of the T-test. So the p-value of the independent t-test is 0 0.000, which is less than 0 0.05. That would mean that there is a significant difference in the level of satisfaction of parents in school services when grouped according to sex. By looking at the mean scores, the male, which has a mean of 4.61, is higher when it comes to overall satisfaction when compared to female, which has only 1.54.